Hey what's up guys, it's the Gaming News Stuff here and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a mod spotlight on the Impossible Creatures Tellurian mod. So what I've done is I've gone into the Army Builder, as you can see here, and I'm basically going to show you guys each of the creatures. So here we go. First off, when I go into Combiner, Select Animal obviously, there's the Albatross and the Anglerfish. So first off I'll show you guys the Anglerfish. As you can see, all the models from this mod, both the Oceanic Edition and the normal one, are amazing. And there's the Albatross. So, both great models, as you can see. So that's the first two creatures in the mod pack. Next up is the Blue Ringed Octopus and the Blue Whale. So, as you can see again, Blue Whale right here all these creatures are actually incredibly balanced and fit in perfectly the game all of their models really like match what is been made by the actual creators of the game and I would even go to say that they're better in texture and meshes and everything next up we got the bluefin tuna and the cuttle cuttlefish sorry and again Look at that model, it's great. Um, yeah, not much I can say about it, except for the fact that I really enjoy playing with these creatures because it just feels like Impossible Creatures, or well, Microsoft Games, has just released new creatures that they've made themselves, which just makes it so much fun to play and just adds ex like heaps of replayability. I have a tutorial up on my channel a uh, few videos ago which basically shows you how to install all the Impossible Creatures mods I've been able to find which are the Tellurian mod, the Giant Creatures mod and the what is it? Creature Chaos mod which all have heaps of creatures but like I say the Tellurian mod is definitely a very great mod they've got I think it's 20 creatures, 10 in the Oceanic Edition and 10 in the Normal Edition. Very easy to install. The mod creators and whoever worked on the mod has made it that it's very easy to install. It's like an EXE file or drag and drop. And like I said, there is a tutorial on my channel. I'll include a link to both the tutorial and this mod in the description. Make sure to leave any questions you might have regarding the mod and I'll try to get the answer for you if I don't already know it. The reason I'm not really saying what creatures I'm clicking on is because you can see it for yourself, you know what I mean? And I'd prefer to give some commentary on other stuff that might be a bit more helpful because you can see it on screen. I'll probably put some captions up showing each of the creatures anyway, their names, just in case the writing is too small for you to see. Oop, just bumped the mic. And yeah, honestly, I recommend to anyone who's played Impossible Creatures over and over again to download this mod, play it until your heart is content. There's also a Tellurian map pack, which adds a bunch of maps to the Impossible Creatures play the best computer game. And again, adds for extra replayability because who doesn't love new maps that they've never played before instead of playing devil's island or whatever it's called so as you can see here there's about six more creatures left in this mod pack and again i cannot stress enough the fact that these are amazingly designed creatures fit in perfectly perfectly and yeah i really can't fault any of the work that the mod authors have done for this mod and I, I recommend yeah, everyone go over, possibly donate to them, support the mod in any way you can, and you never know, might they might bring out more, and who doesn't want more creatures? Um, so, as we can see here, we're filling up the army, army builder slot pretty quickly for all these creatures. So there we've got, a, again, a caterpillar and snail. 
good old snail. And again, these are all type of creatures that people would want in the game, and they're probably sat there when this game came out and like, oh, why isn't this creature in the game? And these mod creator, mod creators, have done this for us. They've put the caterpillar, the snail, the blue whale, all of that stuff that we've just gone, oh, just imagine if they'd added that into the game. That'd be so cool. And they've put it in there. Great quality for everyone to play with. And yeah, it's 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 a free mod in case you didn't know, which again is spectacular. And they've obviously put in a lot of effort and work for this mod. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. Again, I'll put the links to everything you need to know in the description. Make sure you comment on this video asking any questions or telling me anything or suggesting any other videos. If you want me to do a spotlight on any mod you may have made, set it up, tell me, give me a link to it or whatever, and I will make that as soon as possible. Chuck it up on the channel for everyone to see because I think mod creation is one of the best things that people do. It adds so much life to every game that people play and it just it brings everything back brings back the like everything that people enjoy about the game and just adds to it so any opportunity i'll have to spread the word about a mod i will do it 100 percent of the time so anyway guys thank you for watching this has been the tellurian mod normal and oceanic edition mod spotlight for impossible creatures let me know if you want to see these creatures in action and I'll catch you later.